World Cup qualifying continues from Columbus, Ohio, where the United States has a one to nothing lead against Mexico. A terrific first half, though, that we saw. Both teams had opportunities to score. With John Harks, I'm JP Delacamere. Your thoughts in the first half of play? Well, in terms of the USA, and I think Bob Bradley said it best at halftime, it came at a great time mentally. Scoring just before the halftime is fantastic, and for any team, but, you know, the U.S. dominated play, I thought. And But if you go back to the realistic chances, Dos Santos really should have scored for Mexico, and I think it was around the 10th, 11th minute. If he puts that in, it's a completely different game. Tim Howard had to come up big at that time. Let's check out highlights from the opening half of the play. Well, again, it was a physical game, and it's always going to be that case when it comes down to the two biggest countries in CONCACAF and the rivalry. So the little chippiness, the physical, little late tackles, a little bit of gamemanship right here from Salcedo and Frankie Haydick. But it lends to opportunities, and with the weather conditions, yeah, this ball should have been cleared, and this is the chance I was talking about with Dos Santos. And he gets it from Neri Castillo. At the other end, Donovan just misses the mark with the free kick. And the one-on-one -on -one situation with Beasley to the back post, and the header back across, and again, this one from the free kick, the corner. There's a great header from Donovan back in there, and look who's on the doorstep, Michael Bradley, and he buries it. No hesitation at all, and there's the one-nil situation for the U.S. at halftime. Huge goal for Michael Bradley to give his team the lift going into the locker room at halftime. There's still another 45 minutes to go. Can Mexico mount a comeback? Come back with us to Columbus and find out.